Hey there. I thought I would give you a tour of the Monster High Scream House. I got this Barbie Dream House on Craigslist for $34 or $24, some ridiculously low price, somewhere under 30 bucks. And um, it was pink and it had the Barbie pictures in the back and it was, it was really, um, it looked like a giant strawberry milkshake. And uh, I decided I was gonna redo it in black and make it a home for the Monster High girls. Because I have really grown to love them a lot. These dolls are just, they're so cool. They're so highly articulated and I just, I've been really enjoying collecting them. And I just need a place for them to live because Every doll needs a home. Right, Twyla? Shh, Twyla's very shy. Anyway, this is the top floor here. And um, we've got Queen Beatrice and Rochelle in the back there. I guess Rochelle just got back from Scaris and is telling Queen Bee all about it. Um, Queen Bee is one of my absolute favorites. She was a Create a Monster kit and I just think she's really great. Um, I was very lucky to get this um, hydration station from a friend of mine. It's really cool because it's got a stand in there and you put Laguna in and she gets, uh, she gets all hydrated. It's very neat. It ha has lights and goes at different times and everything. But um, Laguna is sitting here on her little chair. I made her this little table out of a dish and um, a wooden post. And I put, I glued some, um, I glued some shells in there. And this I bought on Etsy. It's just like the most perfect little plate of sushi ever. I love that. Um, and, uh, this is Turquoise. She was a Create a Monster Mermaid Edition. And she's really cool. And then I had gotten the Monster High School and I thought it was so cool that these gargoyles were soft rubber. I thought they were going to be just hard rubber, but they're soft like Rochelle's pet. And the books come out. So I just thought that was super cool. So they're hanging out when school is out of session. Then we go down and this whole floor ended up being Draculara's lair. <laughs> I just had a lot of stuff for her and she just got, she just took up the most space. And I just got Claude Wolf recently. He's a used one. I'm gonna have him touched up a little by this woman on Etsy who does, um, you know, painting facial hair and he's gonna get a couple more tattoos. He's gonna be pretty cool looking when he's done. And this over here is, um, this is Draculaura. Okay, that's my Draculaura. And this is Draculara, her twin sister. I don't know why. I don't like having um, doubles of dolls. I know that the, oops, we're going out of focus. Come on, be in focus, thank you. Um, I know that they're very different, different editions come out, but I just like having one girl in the house, but for some reason, this particular Draculaura, who is now Draculara, um, she's just so sweet. I just can't seem to get rid of her. But anyway, um, all the rooms have different lights on the ceiling. This one is sparkly black with pink, obviously. And I found the great Monster High uh, duct tape, and that went across the back, and spider webs and bats. And Spectra is here, having a little snack of apples and uh, raven's blood. Yeah. Well, that's what monsters eat. And I don't know if you can see it. It might be a little too dark. I made a I made a little box of, a coffin shaped box of black roses that of course Claude 
gave to her. And uh, this is Blobby. She is um, she's from a Create a Monster kit. Blobby and the Ice Girl. Oh, who I didn't show you upstairs. She's upstairs in uh, in Abby's room, hanging out, getting chill, getting chilly, just chilling. But um, so she is here in the little washroom. And uh, then we're going down to the coffee bean, coffin bean. I'm sorry, I always screw that up. But uh, that's Bonita, Scalita's um, sister. She's the boyish one. She's a tomboy, total tomboy. She's sitting there talking to Frankie. And um, Deuce just recently joins the family, and Cleo is pretty pleased about that. They have these cool frames with uh, some fabric behind them as pictures. Because everything down here is kind of a, a theme around this cool lounge chair that I got on Etsy. Oh my gosh, I was so thrilled to get this. I'll have to put the link to the store in the... Um, in the description of this video because they just have some great stuff. But anyway, Venus is uh, is playing guitar, hoping for a couple of uh, bones in her cauldron there. And this rug is not done. I want to get a long orange um, fringe for this. But I went to Joanne's last night and they did not have any orange fringe, which was just too bad because I love orange, as you can tell down here. Oh, and this picture is really great. It's kind of a family portrait over there. I guess Skeleta's family owns the coffin bean. <laughs> it seems that way anyway. And there's Claudine. She's man in the register. And Operetta always enjoys some music, especially guitar. So that is um, is the uh, Scream House. Let me go back up and show you Abby and uh, the Ice Girl, who I named Icene. Icene Cube. <laughs> that was pretty good of me. And uh, Abby is munching on some snowballs. So that is... The, um, the scream house so far and today I'm going to be making a bed for Rebecca and it is from um, I watched Chad Allen's videos for making the doll beds and they're really really great I really hit his his designs are simple yet you know really well done we're going out of focus again Anyway, so I, I decided I'm going to use his basic design and dress it up a little. So this is what I've come up with. I drew up a sketch. Come on, come into focus. You can do it. There we go. So I drew up a sketch. I'm going to make a four-poster bed. His bed was the bed with the cogs on the baseboard and the headboard, which was really cool. But I have this thing about four poster beds. I love four poster beds. So I'm going to put the cogs on the baseboard and on the top. And this top is going to be kind of a picture frame deal. And it's going to have this the same the same fabric that's hanging on the sides. It's going to be in the middle here too. So it's not going to be too dark. And I really wanted to use fabric that I already had because I am a quilter and I get a lot of fabrics and I got this big batch of stuff um, in, a free, in a free cycle and I went through it and I found all this really cool stuff and I was kind of doing a, uh, a run on all the Chad Allen videos and I said hey you know this rich purple and this kind of gold satiny and this Sheer is what's going to be on the top and hanging on the sides. 
It's like that really, that looks good for Rebecca, so that's what I'm going to use. And I think that's, you know, it's really, it's metallic enough. And she's very steampunk, and so I have these, these flowers that I'm going to put around the edge at the top. And I have this great, um, I have this great ribbon. Here we go. Here's the ribbon. I have this ribbon that's going to go around the, um, it's going to go around the, uh, the headboard with this flower in the center. And it's just going to be very metallic and majestic. And Rebecca wears a lot of dark blue, but she always also pairs it with purple. So I figured this would go well. I'm using these sequins as the metallic studs. Um, it's going to do the same thing that he did and get the, the little um, jewels and spray paint them, but I, I think these will work. I think these will work well. We'll see. Anyway, and um, these are the posters to the bed. And I haven't decided or not whether I'm going to put the finials on top. It depends on whether it fits in the house and what happens there, but we'll see how it goes. The, the poles are 12 inches high. The ceilings in the scream house are 14 inches high, so I think we might have a little leeway. And I think the finials will just ha make it look finished. So we'll see how it goes. I've got my, my foam board and I've got some, some metallic paper to make the cogs. That's the, mo that's the most nerve-wracking part is I am just, I, I'm not good at sketching things, obviously, but um, these the cogs make me nervous. I hope I'm going to be able to cut them out so that they look good. But we'll see how it goes, and um, I'll show it to you when I'm in the process. i got to move all this stuff downstairs to my cutting table and everything and get it all cut out. So I'll probably have a couple of videos about this project and we'll go step by step and I'll explain what I'm doing so if any anybody wants to make one you can do that I mean I got the original inspiration from Chad so if you want to put that together with mine and come up with something of your own feel free but uh, I'll come back to you in uh, in mid project thanks for watching